Hi, I would like to share with you a bit of scripture. It's from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, starting with verse 1. Um, then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him, and the soldiers plaited a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they put on him a pearl robe, and they said, Hail, King of the Jews, and he smote him with their hands. Pilate therefore went forth again and says unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that ye may know that I find no fault in him. Then came Jesus forth, wearing a crown of thorns and a purple robe, and Pilate says unto them, Behold the man. When the chief priests therefore and the officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate says unto them, Take you him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and by our law he ought to die, because he, he made himself the Son of God. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was the more afraid, and went again into the judgment hall, and says unto Jesus, Whence are you? But Jesus gave him no answer. Then says Pilate unto him, Speak you not unto me? Know you not that I have power to crucify you, and have power to release you? Jesus answered, You could have no power at all against me, except it were given you from above. Therefore he, he that delivered me unto you has the greater sin. And from thenceforth Pilate sought to release him, but the Jews cried out, saying, If you let this man go, you are not Caesar's friend. Whosoever makes himself a king speaks against Caesar. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus forth and sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabbatha. And it was the preparation of the Passover, and about the sixth hour he says unto the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate says unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then delivered he him, therefore unto them to be crucified, and they took Jesus and led him away. Now, um, the scripture I, I want to br bring up um, is, is um, pointing in um, wh where um, Pilate a ask, um, a asked the Jews if they, if they want him to crucify their um, king. And he was saying that in a mocking way. Uh, and um, they were, they were and, and the Jewish leaders were saying, we have no king but Caesar. I mean, I mean, the um, Jewish leaders and Jews in that crowd were, um, well, they were basically living out what um, G Jesus said um, in the Sermon of the Mount, um, saying that um, no man can serve two masters, for either hate the one and love the other, or he will um, be devoted to the one and despise the other. And um, and it is basically clear to see from those verses that I've read that the Jew Jews um, were appealing more to Caesar than to God. And it's like the, um, they're, they're saying, say, saying, if you let this man go, you're not Caesar's friend. Whoever whoever makes himself a king speaks against Caesar. And, um, there. I mean, the Jews of, I mean, of that culture and time, um, they're, they're under, under the rule of Caesar, um, because Caesar, Caesar's, um, I mean, the Roman Empire, um, ruled over, um, ruled o over the um, land of Israel and at, at that point in time and, uh, and they were basically show, showing their loyalty more to um, Caesar than to, than to God and, um, and they end, end up um, re re rejecting their, their king um, Jesus Christ, and I get the feeling that th 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 this also is going to apply to like 
modern day Christians who are following Donald Trump that uh, they're that they're they're going to um, they're going to abandon God and in favor of following Trump. I mean, I'm, I know um, so, some cur some Christians are going to reje reject that. Um, Saying, saying, we're not worshiping Donald Trump. <laughs> I mean, one is one is pretty much clear on uh, that that um, that crowd does worship Donald Trump. They, I mean, they call him the Anointed of God, which is basically um, call, they're calling him a Christ, and. Um, like uh, I mean, how how long are are they going to put up the pretense of worshiping God? Um, I mean, if you um, if you read um, Old Testament and sec Second um, Kings, there there were. Um, group of people that came from other countries whom um, King of Syria transported into uh, into the land of North land of the Northern Kingdom of Israel when the Jews of, of that kingdom were taken away into Assyria and uh, at, said that at first um, they did not fear God so, so therefore God sent lions and, and uh, destroying them so um, realize they have a problem they, they did not fear the God of the land because um, they did not know the importance of the God of the land so they brought brought a priest who, who uh, knew how to worship the Lord and um, he ended up teaching him how, how to worship the Lord however um, the narrative says that uh, that these people um, they feared God and they served their idols I mean and and it got got to the point where um, they l no longer feared God, but ended up serving their idols. I mean, I mean G Jesus said, "You cannot serve two masters for a reason." Because, I mean, because um, we're going to have to pick what one or the other to serve, and and the um, Jew Jews and in that situation in uh, John chapter 19 end up choosing Caesar over God or, or specifically over Jesus Christ because they end up declaring that we have no king but Caesar um, we got we got to make we got to make sure we're um, declaring Jesus Christ as king and we'll be willing to follow him despite um, what others will do to us including per the mega crowd who is like out for blood against any who don't follow their messiah um, Donald Trump and just, uh, Jesus said that brother will betray brother and um, family members will Put, put, put each other to death because uh, they stand they stand with uh because so his family understand with uh Jesus Christ and uh, his he, and Jesus said you'll be hated for my name's sake but he who um, endures to the end shall be safe I mean we're, so we got to be the ones that are like the uh, Church of Pergamos who who um, stand strong in faith and do not deny the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even in the, even in the days um, where it will be martyrs in America who uh, who will be um, executed for their faith. Anyway, that's just um, what I want to share with you um, today. So, have a good day, and may God bless you.